Hmm, I can't believe we are here making a meta planet on the medium class. If this is what the people want, then the people shall get it. A short disclaimer, Meta Planet started as an effort to try to get people to try different classes, showcasing their strengths and how fun playing the game differently can be. I personally feel that a lot of people's frustrations with the game stem from the boredom of playing the same build with an unwillingness to try something else due to the learning curve and also the frustration of being eliminated by the same meta-abusing class over and over again. Showcasing different builds has always been the goal of MetaPlanet. I always get a lot of comments saying how hard a specific build I post would fall off in Ranked, which is probably true. But this content isn't aimed at rank grinding sweats. It is aimed at the people who are wanting to learn and ultimately have fun. Anyway, enough with the yapping, let's get started. The medium comes in many shapes and sizes and all forms are very powerful. For the sake of brevity, I will be mainly focusing on the new dematerializer or heel beam with assault rifle variants. The primary weapon of the Meta Medium is either the F-Car, AKM, or FAMAS. These rifles are extremely strong and versatile. The Meta Medium should also carry a piece of defensive utility, such as gas mines, gas grenades, or pyro nades, for area denial. They should also carry a piece of movement utility, such as bounce pads or zip line. And of course, they should be running defibs, even with the recent defib rework, they are still the most essential gadget they can carry. All of this put together can make one very effective and versatile fighting machine. Let's start with the specializations. Firstly, I want to give Embark a big round of applause for removing recon senses, which was a bold move. It was a very polarizing specialization, but I think it's for the best that it is gone. The heel beam should go without saying, treat your heavy like a queen and heal them up whenever you get the chance. Keep all of your team healthy for that matter. If you are wise with your team engagements, you can keep your team healthy more often than not. Personally, I use Dematerializer exclusively now as it is so fun and so versatile. The ability to create new angles, flanking paths, and change the cash-outs is no joke. Scurrying around like a dirty little hobbit is insanely fun, and I urge everyone to try this ability. The defensive utility is to help you secure and hold cash-outs, or deny a path to you while you are reviving teammates. You can even use the dematerializer to drop said utility on the cash-out and make traps. Your movement gadget also enhances this use of the dematerializer, allowing you to be incredibly fluid with your pathing. As far as the defib rework goes, it is still very powerful. Just move your teammates out of harm's way for a moment before hitting them with the defibs. The combination of all of these gadgets and abilities make for a very formidable and versatile contestant. The playstyle of the Meta Medium is very versatile and capable, essentially being a decent matchup against all classes. The Medium excels with good positioning and is very hard to beat if they employ good team play. This class is described as a support unit, but the way the Medium is actually used is more like a good tactical spear. It has some of the most impactful gadgets in the game, and the Dematerializer is a very good addition to the class. It has completely changed my personal playstyle of the Meta Medium on a fundamental level. So much can be done with it, and so much is still to be explored. I'm sure that the Heel Beam is probably more useful on a surface level, especially when it comes to ranked games, but boy, oh boy, the dematerializer is great fun. There's not much more I can add to this episode. I feel like the class is pretty straightforward. 
but I hope you enjoyed this video nevertheless. In other news, we have launched a Bozo Peak Community Discord server. Link in the description. Come along and hang out, or even submit an idea or two. Happy to rate some in-game outfits for the new drip check segment. And we have a 3v3 custom goofy loadout series in the works that could do with some funny loadout suggestions. Anyway, until next time.